Welcome back to Let's Play Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and once again we're back here in the lobby at containment, or at least this atrium in containment. Which way am I going? Up. Yes, yeah, so we're heading off to the medical area that was full of mold and zombies the last time we were there. This looks like the damn place! Excuse me, have you seen the hand chair? Well, never hurts to ask locals. Hey, I remembered this time. Uh, yes! Awesome! I can open that. In fact, this looks like the one of the ways in. This doesn't look like a very useful room to me. Yeah, that's death. Not going to do that. Shit. That could present an issue with collecting the chair. You know what occurred to me way after the fact that I heard it? They suggested that, uh... The service weapon was also uh, Thor's hammer Mjolnir and uh, King Arthur's sword Excalibur. And then it suddenly hit me, just when I was on my hiatus, it just came out of nowhere. Both of those weapons, according to the legends, could only be picked up by people who were worthy of them. Only someone who is pure of heart can pick up Mjolnir, and only the true King of England can draw Excalibur from the uh, from the ground. Or no, wait, the Sword and the Stone and Excalibur weren't the same weapon, but I'm sure that's what they were going for anyway. It's too on the nose. Ooh, an audio log. Mark Gibson, male, age 28. Returned from the astral plane approximately 13 minutes ago. This was his 21st dive. Patient is experiencing migraine-like pain, intense pressure behind the eyes, and partial blindness. He has no recollection of his time in the astral plane and appears severely disoriented. Preliminary examination revealed no immediate cause, so we will be sending patient for x-rays and... What the fuck is that thing? God, it burst right out of him. Call black! Oh, God damn it! why did Tommy have to invite himself? Things were crazy enough already. Great. <laughs> now on top of everything else, my old friend is running around. This is that door I saw from the other side, yes? Yes, okay. Trust me, you do not want me to explain that reference. You do not want to meet Tommy. You know gotten in here too? We already knew that. We've been... Right. Let's we... get cleaning, but... she said, cocking her gun. Did I miss something? Oh! Oh, that's what that's about. I'm sorry? Oh, God damn it, they've got a sphere. I can't tell if I killed it or if it just disappeared again. Looks like it's dead. Okay, that's still happening. Oh, 
I can't believe any of that worked. Oh! That's the hand chair, all right. That's got to be the hand chair. Either that or it's a floor master. I think that's what they were called. The, uh, the hand bad guy to The Legend of Zelda. Uh, yeah, let's put that one back on. I can't, uh... No, that's not gonna do it. Hand chair procedures. Oh boy, ID human hand chair I AI 63-KE. Acquisition date uh, February 10th, 2006. Containment location Panopticon, floor 4, unit 12. Item must be kept in isolation, removed from other unsecured objects. Under no circumstances is the item to be sat in. Oh good. Uh, a plastic sheet. Uh, she uh, my can't even speak. A plastic seat shaped like a human hand from the 1960s. The hand's palm forms a seat, with the fingers acting as the chair's back. The item affects gravitational forces, attracting and repelling objects near itself with a force of redacted. Its fingers have also been observed to change position, though too quickly to be witnessed or filmed. The item may be changing forms rather than moving. The item only displays these effects during full moons. Of course it does. Sample analysis confirms that it contains human genetic material. Found in a warehouse at Redacted Albany, a team of ranger trainees, accompanied by an experienced field agent, were dispatched to investigate local rumors, and they encountered the item. They successfully retrieved the item, see case PAI-6122 for details. So that just there, where it was clearly moving in front of our eyes, that had to be the hiss doing that then, if it doesn't like doing that on its own. Wait, what? Oh, that, yeah. Although that does remind me... This oh, not this one. Uh, this one, I think. Expedition debrief, because I suddenly realized something about some names we encountered recently. Ranger Squad Charlie 7 returned from an expedition into the quarry threshold just after 0500 Zulu. Can you please state your names and describe the purpose of your expedition? Kevin Horowitz, Rupert Wells. Our mission was to map quarry grid coordinates G29. Man. Secondary objective, as always. It was those guys. Route from the threshold entrance and maintenance to the formation. Secondary objective was not a success. What a surprise. And did you encounter any previously unrecorded event or entity while inside the threshold? No. Nothing. Do you think we should tell him about the mermaid? Excuse me? Yeah, the mermaid. Horowitz here found this mermaid in the quarry, just sitting on some black rock. She was singing this beautiful song, and he was overcome with desire. Oh, she was so alluring. I'd say she was more enchanting than alluring. Fine. Enchanting. Um, did you tell your CO about this? No. Because it didn't happen. Nothing happened. As usual, the quarry is full of rocks. That's it. Can we go now? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Get out of here. Man, I really liked that one. And then I had to go and shoot one of them. This game, man. Sorry about that. Wait, if you're not related to the thing, then what are you? And it's still glowing over here. You know what? Can I? Oh. Oh, hey, that just happened. Okay. The mold is working with the hiss. It rebuilt whatever that was. Maybe the microorganisms are concentrating radiants. So, or maybe it's just because it was on both sides.
Oh. So are those gonna go? Oh, we have to get all of them? Is that what that is? Yeah, okay, it is. Okay. Um, I can figure this out. I'm a smartman. I don't need the shotgun for this. Let's try this thing. Oh, you're enormous and angry. There's no other way out of the room, so I'll just stand by the door, even if it's loud, and do this. Did it work? It did. Baller. Uh, yes, I don't actually need to do that right now since I'm not over there. I will do this since apparent. No, yeah, this one. Since I'm apparently here. Well, I'm already doing a pretty good job, apparently. I don't know what I'm looking for. I know what the growths are. No, I do not wish to do that. Go away. Alright, what's in that direction? Like through that door right there. That's a chair. Well, you look important. Should have been looking at the, uh... the bar as I did that, but I have a fe pretty good feeling about that. Uh, no, it's not one. It, it's just gross, is all. Uh, let's see. Giant nodules. Hello? Uh... Ugh. Oh, the little papery bits that float in the air. Oh, it reminds me of when you pop one of the, the flood infection forms in Halo. That is never a good comparison. Wasn't sure. Oopsie, that is not what I thought that button did. My bad. Hmm. Ah, boy, it's gotta be... I guess it's, uh... I don't know, is it supposed to be concentrated in here? Am I just being foolish? I'll just look around somewhere else, or... I don't know these things. So much to do in this game. So much I have to push myself for. Alright, I'll search the ceiling a bit, and then I'll run back the other way. There mold in here. Bad guys, but no mold. Right in the leg. Oh, fuck. Works for me. Literally now. What in the hell? Oh, shit. Oh, good! I still have that equipped. Damn it.
boy, oh boy. What the hell is going on in here? Yeah, no mold over here. I guess, um... I do help find myself feeling that, uh... Killing these mold pods, or whatever they are, will, uh... It's now where I'm trying to go. Will probably not help that much in the long run. But maybe it'll buy us some time while I get up to the level to face the zombies in the pit. You know? Huh? Oh, that's the, uh... Yeah, that's where the story is actually taking me. Nah, what the hell. I don't know, I mean... I wasn't finding anything back there. There you are, you little bugger! It was right there where I wasn't looking. Alright, one more. I had a hunch. And what do you know? Alright! I feel better about that. And now, yeah, sure, let's go ahead and do that. Actually, even said there, that should slow it down. It's not going to solve anything in the long run, and I did just realize those guys will have come back. But, you know, fuck them. More experience for me. Don't mind if I do. On your feet, Ranger! Oh, hell. Pop your shields! Ah. Oh. Damn it. That's no good. Named enemies present a tougher challenge, but yield better rewards. You know, I don't think I actually said the words last time because I was so focused on my, uh, thoughts on the, the story after I found the, uh, the page. But, uh, hey, thanks to everyone who pointed me to the Alan Wake Easter egg. That was delightful. And I didn't even remember at the time that this game came out in 2019, so rather than saying, Oh, Alan Wake came back, you know, a few years ago. No, he came back, like, very recently. Okay. Hmm, very little up in this area. Oh, boy. Garbage can! seem to affect it one little bit. Oh shit. Thanks for waiting. 
Yes! It worked! Right in the back, when he wasn't expecting it. No. Mine! Now you're someone else's problem. Fuck. God damn it, Kent! Whoa! I mean, that will do it! Is he dead yet? Nope. Soon tight. Ah, yes, this one. August 4th, 1964. We discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway. Tower. Okay, I'm over here now. The agents found their way up into the building. Uh, we've heard that one before. Uh, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Control when we uh, head off to find ourselves the Prime Candidate Program and what horrors they've been inflicting on Dylan. Later.